In this video, I'll show you how to install AWS Vault on a Mac using Homebrew. AWS Vault is a tool used for securely storing and accessing AWS credentials in your development environment. In order to install AWS Vault on a Mac, you'll need either the Homebrew or MacPorts package manager installed. I'll be using Homebrew. If you don't have Homebrew installed, you may find the Installing Homebrew on a Mac video in my channel's intro playlist helpful. Clicking the link to install AWS Vault on Mac with a Homebrew task, we see the brew formula listed and we can copy, jump to a terminal, and execute it. Then run AWS Vault version and we see that it was successfully installed. Now, I've logged into the AWS console and navigated to the IAM service. From here, I'll click on User Groups and create a new group named Developers. I'll scroll down and attach the S3 full access policy and then create the group. Now I'll click on Users and add a new user named Foo, and I'll give the user programmatic access. I'll add the user to the developers group, and then create the user. Now I'll jump back into the terminal and create an AWS Vault profile for the new user. I'll need to go back to the AWS console and grab the access key, paste it in, and the secret access key, which I'll delete after this video, paste that in, and the credential is added. And if I run AWS Vault List, I'll see the profile. Now, with the profile added, I can execute commands against the AWS CLI and interact with services. However, in order to do this, you'll need to have the AWS CLI installed. If you don't have it installed on your machine, you may find the video I created on installing the AWS CLI on a Mac in my channel's intro playlist helpful. If I type AWS version, I see the CLI is installed, and now I can execute a command using the profile in AWS Vault against the S3 service. Now, before I can execute a command against the CLI, I need to ensure that the AWS region is set in the AWS config. So I'll execute AWS configure, skip the access key, the secret access key, and enter the region I want to work in. And then if I run AWS configure list, I'll see that the region is set. And now I can execute a command using the foo profile on AWS vault against the AWS CLI using the S3 service and calling list to display the list of buckets. And we see there are no buckets returned because I don't have any buckets in this account. So I'll execute a command to create a bucket and it looks like that was successful. So we'll execute AWS S3 list again and we see the bucket listed. So that concludes this video on setting up AWS Vault on a Mac. I hope you found it useful.